funny how the story goes Little hope but bigger dreams uh, They try to bring a sucker down Singing louder than the crowd from oneownrabbits.com and today I'm going to be showing you guys my rabbit cages. So it's been a little bit since I have done some cage tours and I have a couple of updates that I want to show you. So let's go ahead and get onto the video. So I will give you a quick little overview of the outside of the cage. As you can see I have this three foot wooden wall that goes all the way across. This divides, uh, this center wall divides two pens. They're about seven feet by seven feet pens. And this is Sterling and Ebony's, and that is Lulu's. As you can tell around the top of Sterling and Ebony's cage, we do have this plexiglass. And that is simply because Sterling, my largest rabbit, is able to jump over three feet tall and can escape these pens without the plexiglass. So he does have that on his pen. Over here, I do have like this little shelf that goes all the way along the pen. It does tend to collect a lot of clutter and junk, but right here I do have all of my rabbit's treats. So these are dried herbs, some dried carrots, dried apples, and then freeze-dried uh, pineapple. And that's just kind of the outside of the cage, and then we have this little latch and can open the cage, and this leads into their pen. I really apologize for the noise, but Sterling is shredding his maze haven. You can kind of see it wiggling there. So he is going to be making some noise in the background, but so they have their veggie plate and their water dish right when you walk in. And then I have these baby chains, some baby stacking cups, which is like their favorite toy. Then we have a old willow basket, which they have destroyed. And then there's a basket back there that I put hay in sometimes, but I normally only do that when the cage is already messy because I don't want the cage to get more messy. And again, I have the maze haven back there where Sterling is. Underneath this sheet, I do have puzzle mats. Everyone always asks me where I get my puzzle mats. I get them from Walmart for about 20 bucks a package. And then I think I use two packages for one pen, just in case you guys are wondering. So then moving up to the top of the cage, we do have this ramp, which I have covered with a fleece to protect their feet. And once they go up the ramp, they can go into this really long Heidi house, which is made out of NIC grids. And there is Ebony in there, but it is three grids long by one grid wide and I just cover it with this little fleece so that they can uh, feel more protected in there. So it just has pink foxes on it. And this is the other opening to the tunnel and it leads to this blue Heidi house. Everyone always asks me where I got this blue Heidi house and sadly they no longer make it anymore. So I am not able to give a link or anything as it's discontinued, but then I just have some towels down because they do sometimes pee and poop in this area. And then their litter boxes are over here with their big hay rack. And that is basically it for the Sterling and Ebony's cage. So as you can see, it's fairly simple, but they do really like all the Heidi houses and all of the cool toys. This is probably one of their favorites, as you can tell. So I did want to point out the new part of the cage, which after you go down the ramp, you can see that it leads to this hole in the wall of my rabbit's pen. This is the new tunnel system I have created for my bunnies. I really love it and the bunnies really love it. So I am going to go ahead and show you how this little tunnel system works as I think it's pretty cool. So as you can see right here, we just have a little hole cut in the wall. And when you go through that hole, you can see there is a tunnel system made out of NIC cubes. As you can see, it is one grid wide. And so I just made a tunnel that goes over there. And then there is a ceiling on the tunnel system. I'll show you the outside of the tunnel too. Um, right now I do have the wall up. So I am able to block off the tunnel system whenever I don't want the bunnies leaving their cages or their pens for some reason. So right now I do have this divider in here uh, so they aren't able to get to the actual tunnel itself but they are able to sit in this little cube. So this is the outside of the tunnel. I thought I would kind of show you. Here is Sterling 
and so they can sit in this little cube thing and they love to beg for treats in here and I think it's super cute. Right now the actual tunnel system itself isn't directly connected as I did want it to be removable so that when I clean I can walk down this hallway. So all I do is I unclip this binder clip and unclip the dog leash clip down here and this panel that blocks them from entering the tunnel system just gets pushed all the way to the side it just opens like a door and then I reconnect the dog leash clip to the tunnel system and then put the binder clip up here this just helps hold the ceiling kind of together and now they basically can run out of their cage and into the playtime area there you go buddy hi Ebony come here so as you can see, they can just run all the way through their tunnel system and now they are in the playtime area. I'm gonna give them some treats since that is how I got them to come out. So this is the other panel of the tunnel system. So this is how they enter and exit through, you know, to get back to their cage. Over here we do have a three foot tall an IC grid panel so that they can't escape. And then I do have an X pen on this side so that they can't access Lulu's pen. And then as you can see, Lulu also has an entrance to this playtime area, but how I block it off is I have a panel of NIC grids on this side, and then there's a block of wood in the middle to keep it all secure. And then she also has a, another grid on the other side with a piece of cardboard in front of it so that she can't even see the other buddies when they're using the tunnel system. Um, so if I want Lulu to come out, I just open up her doors, and then I have a grid that blocks this off and then she can come into the playtime area. So that's just kind of the tunnel system. I hope it makes sense. I know it's a little bit confusing to describe and show. So once they come into the playtime area, this is what it looks like. I have no idea how large it is, but it's about the size of a living room. As you can tell, I do have two couches down here that I can sit on while they play. And then there is a fireplace, but it's completely blocked off so they can't like get in there. And then there's a love seat and then all the floor is covered with foam mats. Uh, they're just the puzzle mats. Again, I got them from Walmart. There's probably about two or three packs covering the playtime area. But yeah, that's their playtime area. So now I'm going to show you Lulu's pen. She also has the three foot wall that goes around and I'll try not to show you my mess. Um, I just have some like building supplies over there. Uh, she does have the plexiglass on this side of her pen. She doesn't jump over three feet tall, so it's not a huge deal. Uh, that's why her front of her cage is open because she won't escape. So in her cage, we do have this willow teepee, which I love these things. They're from binkybunny.com and they're like one of my all time favorite willow toys as they are perfect size for bunnies. Uh, then we have her veggie plate. She also has half of a maze haven, but as you can see, she doesn't chew it up as much as the other bunnies. Uh, then she has a two foot by two foot and I see Heidi House, kind of hard to show because it's so dark, but yeah, that's just her Heidi House and she actually doesn't go inside of it too much. She loves to sleep on top of it. So that's like her favorite sleeping spot. And then over here she does have her hay box with hay in it and then her two litter boxes. Her litter boxes have the sides cut down because she does have arthritis which does make it harder for her to jump in and out. She also has like this little bowl and it is 4th of July themed, which I know is kind of weird because it's not 4th of July, but I put hay in there sometimes. This is where I like put treat hay and like herbs and stuff, but I normally do that when the cage gets messier, like I mentioned before, so it doesn't get everywhere. But these are some of her toys. I have this metal ball that they can like grab and throw. She's got some pine wooden blocks. This is probably her favorite toy. It is baby keys. She has this little thing, which I don't even know what it is, but 
they can throw that and then another couple wooden blocks and those are the toys she has um, plus the Heidi houses that she can chew. As you can see she does have these levels in her cage however she doesn't have anything like a ramp or anything to go up into them so she isn't allowed in them anymore but I did have to stop letting her use them because of her arthritis. Um, her arthritis is getting to the point where it's um, affecting her spine and it's causing her to fall over randomly and it's completely like we're controlling her pain with two types of pain medications so her pain is fine it's just she's not as mobile as she used to be so because of that I don't want to risk her falling off of a ramp um, if she happens to fall over while going up and down in her cage so that is why she doesn't have access to this area so over here is her water dish and then she has her exit to the tunnel system but it is covered up with cardboard so that she can't see Sterling and Ebony because it is their turn to have playtime right now. So that is basically it for how my rabbit room is currently set up. They've got the large playtime area with the couches and then the two pens and their tunnel system so I really enjoy it and I love how it looks. I hope you guys enjoyed this casual cage tour where I'm just kind of vlogging and showing you all of the areas of their cage. I hope you all enjoyed and I will see you guys very soon on a new video. Bye! Hi Bloodbloods! Your bum hair is sticking out. Yeah, are you offended?